The Petroleum Oil and Lubrication Shop, or POL, provides fuel to vehicles and aircraft all over Shaw Air Force Base. Fuel laboratory technicians like Senior Airman Brandon Rhodes test each shipment of fuel to ensure it is good enough to be used in Air Force equipment. He checks the fuel when it first arrives on base and also does bi-weekly or monthly tests on each storage and delivery unit to make sure the quality is consistent. Airman Rhodes pulls samples directly from the equipment to run experiments on in the lab. In here, he runs tests to see how much solid waste is in the fuel. Too much sediment can clog up the fuel lines in the planes or in the trucks, and clogged fuel line in the plane isn't, isn't good. So you just want to make sure it's slow as possible. To do this, he first ensures the fuel is within a certain temperature range so that he can test it against a standard. Next is a bit of mixing. When you shake it up, you're creating a homogenous mixture, so anything that's settled to the bottom, it's going to mix it up. Then the actual test is started. Pre-weighed filter membranes are placed on top of this suction funneling device. Airman Rhodes then pours the entire gallon-sized sample into it. As the fuel gets pulled through, any sediment will stay on the pad. Airman Rhodes does everything exactly by procedure to ensure accurate results. It's very vital. Uh, if the fuel is not within specs, you can't put the fuel on a plane, and planes can't fly without fuel. Uh, just like any other job in POL, it's, it's very extremely vital. Uh, if we do our job wrong, the mission doesn't go off. The used filters are then baked for half an hour until it is completely dry. Meanwhile, the rest of the fuel samples are poured into a holding container. If the samples test good, then the fuel can be returned and used in equipment. No good fuel is wasted. When the filters are dry, Airman Rhodes weighs them to measure how much sediment was left on the pad, indicating how dirty the sample was. A passing test means the fuel can be used and the base's mission can continue. It's a real good feeling, I mean, knowing that you have that big of an impact uh, on the mission. Two guys in the lab can, can shut down the whole base effectively. It's a lot of pressure, but at the same time, it, it's very rewarding knowing that POL is, is the reason those planes are going up. It, it makes you feel good on the inside. The testing process is the same for petroleum, jet fuel, and regular vehicle fuel. POL airmen do daily checks to ensure Air Force equipment runs on the best possible materials and that there's a ready supply for continuing mission demands. Staff Sergeant Jenna Armstrong, Shaw Air Force Base, South Carolina.